All right, I wanted to show you guys this bed. Um, this bed originally didn't have really much of anything in the bed. Um, you know, it had a couple of azalea bushes, and that was about it. So what I ended up doing, I had a lot of tomato plants left over. So like here, for instance, um, that's one. That's one of the tomato plants. I went ahead and just, you know, all my leftovers planted them in here. And then this fence, when we bought the place, was already here. Um, and so I put different types of pumpkins and whatnot along the edge. You know, anything that vined out that I had left over, I put through here. Um, but I've got white pumpkins, yellow pumpkins, uh, or excuse me, white pumpkins, green ones, and orange ones. And then, of course, um, the tomatoes themselves will turn out red, so that'll be pretty, you know, interesting. But also, I'm hoping that the um, pumpkins themselves will just kind of cover the whole bed, um, you know, and just kind of take over. Because otherwise, you know, it's just a, a useless bed because um, it doesn't have anything else in it. So I figure why not, you know, make it into a vegetable garden. Oh, also, um, there might be some spaghetti squash in here. I, I don't remember <laughs> exactly, but um, so that that would be the yellow part. But um. Then over here, I have some raised beds um, where we had planted some onions. Onions don't look too hot. Sorry about that. Um, then at the end, I had planted some carrots. Um, they still haven't sprouted. Um, and then this corn right here, this was actually planted through compost. I had put some rabbit compost in here, and I guess uh, the rabbit had dropped some of its feed down, you know, into his tray, and when I dumped the tray, of course, um, you know, we got a, a corn shoot <laughs> for free, so that's, that's kind of cool. Um, over here, I have some potatoes, two different types, or actually three different types between this bed and that bed over there, and then this thing in the middle is um, a makeshift cold frame. Um, you know, it's just, if you want to um, I guess protect your seedlings, whatever you've got um, from frost or whatever, but we don't have to worry about that right now. Um, this is another bed. It's got sweet potatoes and um, spaghetti squash growing in it. So the, the sweet potatoes are going to be under the ground and the spaghetti squash on top of the ground. And actually, you can see one um, kind of sprouting. So, um, they're taking over and they're going crazy, so that's okay. Um, this bed was actually existing. We started off with this bed right here, and then I liked it so much, I made the two more. And then, of course, you know, we put fencing around it just to protect it um, from the chickens. Um, but in this bed, I've got watermelon planted, and originally it had rose bushes in it, which it still does. But, um, you know, normally if I don't pull the weeds, then the weeds will just kind of take over the bed. So I figured instead I'll go ahead and just plant um, some watermelon, which you can kind of see. Here, let me get out of the light. Um, Here's one of the watermelon that's kind of coming out of the bed. Um, here's another one. Oh, and I wanted to show you this real quick. Um, see these forks? These are just forks. They work great if you want to label your stuff. <laughs> but that's just a helpful tip. Um, but that's the watermelon bed. And then I want it to take you around to this bed over here. Um, this bed over here is actually, um, it's a bed that I had worked on and gotten, um, railroad ties from a nearby railroad to our neighborhood. Asked, they were replacing the ties, and I asked the guy, you know, what are you going to do with them? He says, well, we take them to the dump. And I said, well, you know, if I, if I come take them out of here for, for, for you, you know, can I have them? He says, yeah, sure, you can have all you want. So, um, we got enough to do this bed. And so the, the landscape and timbers were free, and I did line them um, on the inside um, just to kind of give some separation between the soil and the, and the timbers. But um, on this end, I've got the three rows. The two on the right and the left side are tomatoes. The row in the middle is um, cucumbers. And then right along the front, I've, this way, I've actually planted potatoes in the ground. Um, and between the rows, right through there, I have um, cayenne pepper. And then 
right down there I've planted some more carrots but um they were just recently the seeds were just recently planted um and then further down the road I have more cayenne and some purple hall peas that were um that are mixed in you know just wherever I had a spot and then also in between each pumpkin I mean each, each pumpkin each tomato plant I also have spaghetti squash so that the tomato and the spaghetti squash can both grow up the vines um you can't really see it from here but here's the cucumbers um and at the end of it there's actually some cantaloupes so they're kind of sharing this vine or um trellis I should say and then at the very bottoms um, of the plants, I replanted some more beets. So I have I have beets growing different places, but you know, at the base of these plants, um, it's just wasted space. So I planted beets. Um, I heard that you know carrots love tomatoes. There's a book about it actually, but I, I figured, well, we'll try out beets, see if tomatoes love um, beets or beets love tomatoes, whatever. <laughs> but anyway, um, and right there, that's actually where the cantaloupe is. I think these are some of the purple hull peas at the end, and then I've got squash right um, right through here. The squash hadn't done too good, and then further over here um, there is a zucchini, and the zucchini is actually doing really well. And I'm going to walk around to the other side because it'll make it easier to get around um, so that I can show you guys the rest of the stuff. Oh. This got weeds in it right now, but there's actually a pot right there. That's actually yarrow. Um, it's a it's a weed, but um, it has medicinal purposes. Um, oh, while well, I mention it, see this big pile. I know it looks terrible, and I need to go do something with it. But all of these little containers are butter containers. Look, I've got um, potato salad. Um, looks like ice cream, you know, of different sorts, but these are all containers that I reuse. Instead of throwing them in the trash, I used them to throw all my compost, which is um, your eggshells, your, um, any scraps from any vegetables or fruits that you have, um, anything that's biodegradable from the kitchen, coffee, coffee filters, um, they all get thrown in the buckets. When you fill the buckets up, you bring them outside in the garden, you dump them out, and there's your, you know, organic fertilizer. Um, but anyway, it's just another thing to remind you, you know, recycle your <laughs> your plastic um, and compost because it's good fertilizer. But anyway, back to it. Um, here is my zucchini, um, which is doing pretty good. We've already got crops or harvested stuff. And there's one right there um, that needs to be picked. Right here are my beets, um, which I have found are kind of slow growing. And then here are some actual carrots that are um, sprouting, and one of them is doing pretty okay, but the rest are just kind of struggling on by. Um, and then this is green beans, which I have already harvested several large bowls um, from these green beans, just this little bit. So um, definitely, if you're going to do any gardening, put some green beans in because you'll definitely get a good crop. Um, they're just always good producers. This is my llama beans. Um, as you can see, they're still kind of blooming. They're late and they're a lot slower. Um, so, but I don't know if you can see some of the bugs that are flying around, but they're going around fertilizing all the flowers. So I should have some llama beans soon. Um, and then, of course, there is my corn. Um, and what I did was with the corn, you always have, you know, like two seedlings that you plant per hole and you hope one shoots out. Well, this year I actually got multiple um, shoots, but it's best if only one stalk grows per hole, so you, you pull up the rest. Um, but I ended up pulling up so many leftovers, I, I didn't want to throw them away. I, I thought, well, what a waste. So what I did, um, we have recently dug a ditch along our property and so all that dirt that come out of that ditch I decided to go ahead and just replant that corn all the way down it and so I've got extra corn that's growing um, you know and again this is just a spot that somebody would have let weeds grow over but I like to um, try to put vegetable gardens um, 
or vegetable, excuse me, in, you know, unusual places, wherever I can find a spot, you know, um, and really it doesn't have to be real complicated like a lot of people make it, um, you know, if there's dirt and you can semi-protect it from, you know, either A, running it, running over it with a lawnmower, or B, the chicken scratching it up, or, or somebody stepping on it, you know, it, um, then, you know, you've got a, oh, and sun, of course, and water, and you have to be able to <laughs> give it both of those two things, but I mean, really, you can plant stuff anywhere, and I also like to promote, um, people growing, um, their vegetables and whatnot in their flower beds too. Um, as a matter of fact, in my front flower bed, I have eggplants um, growing, and um, maybe I'll do another video on that. But um, I just wanted to show you my flower beds in the backyard. Um, hope you enjoyed it. That's it. Talk to you guys soon.